Hi, my name is Chuck Fossler, and I'm a veterinary epidemiologist with USDA's National Animal Health Monitoring System, or NOMS, in Fort Collins, Colorado. I'm the study lead for the upcoming NOMS Health Management on U.S. Feedlot Study, which begins in March 2021. NOMS was created in the 1980s to collect information on health and management on U.S. livestock operations. We've done three feedlot studies in the past, and this will be the fourth. NOMS data are used by policymakers, producers, veterinarians, extension educators, researchers, and industry groups, among others. Operations are randomly selected, and if you receive a letter in the mail indicating you've been selected, I hope you'll participate. The NOMS data is really important because there's no other survey data that brings us national information and ties all that together and asks very relevant questions that help us in the industry to make decisions. So I think NOMS data are an important component of the data that's available for both the industry and for people, uh, researchers and uh, other participants that are involved in the industry. Um, it provides a statistically sound sample of the kinds of things that happen on feedlots and the practices that are done. Um, more importantly, it's a series of data over time, so it lets us look at how things have changed or haven't changed over, over time. That information is really important for, well it's important for researchers, it's important for people within the industry as they look at uh, developing policies or, or considering regulatory changes, etc. to see how that's really going to affect the feedlot industry. It's broken down by region, it's broken down by producer type or producer size, so it really provides a really comprehensive data set that can be used to assess those types of factors. You know, NOMS is, they've provided us in my lifetime, they've provided us a way to communicate with each other in the beef industry and help us work with each other in the beef industry. And there's really no comparable data set that, that exists. No one else, pharmaceutical companies or cattle associations can do a survey um, as uh, representative as what NOMS does. For this study, the Health Management on U.S. Feedlot Study, uh, we conducted a needs assessment process where we worked with producers, veterinarians, extension agents, and other industry representatives to try to determine what are the most important information needs in the cattle industry today. The needs assessment process helped us to design our study objectives and also to help write questions for the questionnaires that we, we will be using to collect these data. For the study, we will be partnering with NAS, the National Agricultural Statistics Service, another USDA agency, and they will help us with collecting the data as well as reaching out to producers. We will be randomly selecting producers based on the size of their operation and the state in which they reside, and each selected operation represents a number of other operations of a similar size and location. So it's important to have as many producers participate in the study as possible so that we can provide the most accurate information about the current feedlot cattle practices today. You know, we're, we're a community that believes in science and we want to base decisions on science. Well, then we have to measure ourselves scientifically also to accomplish that. And that's why it's so important to record what we do and prove what we do and show the world what we do because we're proud of what we do. I think from, you know, from my perspective, we kind of have an intuitive idea or an anecdotal thoughts on practices uh, that producers are doing this or doing that. The NOMS data though is, you know, when I'm giving a presentation, that puts the teeth to it. Mm -hmm. It shows producers in the room or veterinarians in the room um, what the baseline is or and maybe how they compare to, to other producers in their, uh, in their industry. The NOMS data, in, in some ways, it provides, it's somewhere, somewhat of a compass, if you will, for what the industry might be doing. It's you know, not only as a, a snapshot in time, but it also, NOMS has been around long enough that we, we now have trends. The herds are randomly selected, so uh, we can be assured that the data is representative of what's going on in the industry. As we 
collect that accurate information, it actually helps portray, draw the picture of what really happens on feedlots, um, what's happening today, also how that changes over time. And both of those are really important components to get real information out to uh, people in the industry as well as consumers. An important concept that we uh, adhere to with all of our NOM studies is protecting the confidentiality of all of the producers that participate in our study. And we do this through a number of different processes within our study design, and we make sure that absolutely no information will be released on any individual producer, but rather our results will only be summarized information in aggregate statistical form. I would say if you receive an invitation to do a NOM survey, number one, I hope that you do. We need that information. But number two, it does take a commitment. Sometimes you have to go back and look at your records and so forth and think about that a little bit. If we don't, our data is not accurate. If it's not accurate, then it's not meaningful. You provide such a valuable resource when you share what you do. Um, we love to get information to understand what people are doing with boots on the ground, and we can't do that without your support. Um, I think if in a world where we always want to make progress, which is, I think is the world that we're in, without having data like this, it's very hard to show how well we're doing and how much we've progressed in certain areas. That benchmark allows the industry to focus its resources and, and universities to focus resources and research to identify what's the next challenge that we need to try to overcome and um, how do we know we've overcome it if we don't measure it. It's an awesome gift. And every rancher, every feedlot manager I've ever visited with that spent any time at all with a, with a NOMS information recognized that and supported it and couldn't wait till the next edition came out. So please take the time to do it. It's important. We need it. We all need it. And it's not going to go to all of us. So we're going to depend on the ones that get randomly chosen to do it. And it's important very important.